Geshic bypass surgery on Thursday. I leave tomorrow, so I have a flight at 9.55 a.m. in the morning. Flying. Ooh, I'm nervous. But we're doing this. So they did give me a list of all the stuff that I need um, to take with me, as well as stuff that I researched that I see that would be helpful going through the process. So Definitely gonna show you guys what I got to take on my trip and praying I have a great one too. I really am. So the first thing I thought about having is a robe. Like definitely I do need a robe. So I did get my Savage X20 robe and I said I'll take that. I was told on the list like two compression socks. So I brought two compression socks as well as non-slip socks. So that too, I got two of the non-slips. Two nightgown, just oversized shirt nightgown, nothing too fancy, oversized shirt nightgown. And three outfits. So three outfits. I have a t-shirt and a biker shirt, some sweatpants and a long sleeve shirt, and my return outfit. So that's really just the outfits. I only need three in nightgown. Take a mini towel and some zippers. These are so comfy. I got these from Amazon and they are so comfortable. Some of the main things though. So now that I'm through outfits, the main stuff is the list stuff, heating pad, an extension cord, I had got a dial disinfectant soap so I could use um, the antibacterial soap that I could use to wash up. As they did tell me on the list to get Ibequin. So it's like an antiseptic skin cleaner. So I think we'll use this to wash up like before surgery. So I did get this too. I got some cleansing wipes. Um, just a small flushable pack, just in case it's needed. In these tubes, so I went with like the TSA approved tubes. So I got my shower gel, some lotion, all my face products, and everything is all stuck. And in here, I put them all in these containers. The same thing here, dry mouth spray, because I was told that's the thing, your mouth will get dry. Um, some Listerine packets, and yeah, just personal stuff and some floss. Okay, as for <laughs> this, I have some bro bone broth packets. And some, what is this called again? <laughs> okay, bouillon. Did I say it right? Okay, bouillon cubes. This is some gas X. And again, this is some bone broth packets. I think you just pour it in hot water and just mix it around. 
So that's definitely a thing. Okay, so as for the stuff that I, this is a derma bond. So I contemplated on when they had sent the email about getting derma bond if you personally want it. It's not a must, but I did get it. This way I don't think I'll use bandages over the wounds. I'll get to use the derma bond to close it. So I did get the derma bond, but just as well as I got the derma bond, I got sensitive tape. And I got sterile sponge gauze, just in case, just in case. I'll pack these all together in a zip up bag. So I'll put these together in a zip up bag. So these are all for the same purposes. So I tend to put them all together, make that bag flat. So definitely just go. I got some sugar-free candy. I'll put this in my my personal belonging bag, so. So these are some small two ounces container. They're like from the company Melly. Um, they got two ounces on the side. So, and I decided to take these with me. As well as I did hear about patches, which I didn't know was a thing. And I got these motion sickness patch. Um, it's supposed to help relieve nausea and stuff like that after surgery. So I, I got them. And I guess we'll give these a try. So it's like for nausea and stuff like that, vomiting and nausea. To like reduce it as much so i'm definitely gonna try this is something new never heard of it but this is something new so i got these i was told i think while researching stuff to take with you and stuff to pack you know, somebody came up with the whole idea of taking a few depends. What are these called? Ah, whatever. <laughs> a few of these, um, just to be safe. It's not a necessity that I will use them, but just to be safe, I will definitely take a few with me. That I need to put in a zip top bag because that's very personal stuff. I want to be hiding those. The one about it is going to use the word. <laughs> yeah, but I'll take a few of these. As well as I'll take a couple of pair of sneakers with me. My travel blanket, my neck pillow for the flight, everything that's going to make me very comfortable. My iPad, you know, stuff like that that's going to make me comfortable. I'm not sure if this is a thing, but I had also got like this travel pack um, Tylenol. So I'll take those just in case it's needed, just in case. Some sanitary napkin. I packed two six underwear, like just regular underwear. Um, just in case I'm not a fan of the deep pen stuff and my regular underwear work and it's not really a problem for me to wear them. So I got those two. I'm not a girl that like bra with bones unless I'm really going out or getting dressy. So two, I packed with me, you know, some of that cotton bra that's going to be way more comfortable than just having to have all the bone and everything. So I packed those underwear. And again, my little travel blanket. I'll definitely have this with me. Always have this with me. Always have my travel blanket as long as I'm traveling. Because it be cold on the plane sometimes. That's it. I got two locks. 
and um that's basically it that's all the stuff i pack walking shoes and i think that's it i mean i am nervous but whew, i'm nervous like really nervous about this but i am definitely willing to put that all behind me I'm definitely just rocking it with Gatorade Zero all day today. All day today. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. Like, I'm, I'm really hungry. But I'm not really going to go to sleep. One of my things is I'm the matter of I do not like flying. I don't. I do it because I have to. But it's not something that I like. So... I'm always a person that definitely take melatonin to go to sleep. And I definitely asked her, like, <laughs> asked my coordinator if it was okay for me to take melatonin on the flight. And she was like, yeah, sure, shouldn't be any problem. So, for sure, I'm going to eat these bad boys up before I leave in the morning. I'm, excuse me. Going to take, like, about three. That should give me a really knock, knock, knock out. I did get these. So I have three pairs in. The two at the top recently got pairs, so I know for sure I don't want to just take the earrings out and leave it like that. So I did go on Amazon and get these like surgical earring thing. They're like some plastic, like really plastic earring on the backs. And I'm definitely gonna put those in my my pocketbook so I can remove my earrings once I get there and put these in so there's no problems with that situation there everything else should be fine I took an outfit out to wear and all that in the morning so I'm really just wearing some jeans a long sleeve shirt I always go with long sleeve shirt when traveling that play me cold and I'm that type of person I get cold really quick like I'm always cold I am always cold I will definitely wear myself tomorrow morning before I leave because I'm nervous to see what pre-op did for me and that's it I'm about to do this guys I am about to do it I am about to do it I really am about to do it. Ooh. Right now, I am going to drink some chicken broth and just put like a bouillon in it just to give it a little bit more flavor before I go get me a shower and lay down until the morning time. That's it. So that's everything I have in my suitcase right here. It's everything I need. That, that I know for sure it's definitely everything that I need to get all my chargers and stuff together. My Make sure my phone is charged, my iPad is charged. I did put a lot of movies on my iPad, don't know them, just so I could watch on the plane. It's a six hour flight. So I'm getting all my chargers together. I did get these so but see I'm not even so sure hmm, I think they'll stay home so these are patches like vitamin patches so I got these from patch MD because I was researching like the best way to be you know getting your vitamins in no problems and I did get the bariatric package it came with iron plus it came with the b12 plus the vitamin d3 and calcium and multivitamin so they're like patches that you put all over your body and um it should work <laughs> i don't know how but i'll tell you that later on once i figure it out once i got it all figured out i'll tell you all about it for right now i really don't know so I'll take my little sleep cap to put on my head. <laughs> I 
I also got some zero sugar drink mix. Like I got the Gatorade Zero, Fruit Punch, and I love the lime and the lemon. So I got them all in here. So that's gonna go in there. These are just some bouillon. Hopefully going through the airport, I could get hot water in my thermos from somewhere. I'm taking my thermos with me and I'll just add these in there just so I can have something in my system while I go the entire plane ride because I'm not allowed to eat because I'm still on the liquid diet. So only liquid are allowed, sugar-free liquid. So I've been just drinking again, like I said, Gatorade and broth, um, hot water with the bouillon cubes i don't know if i'm saying that right but bouillon 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 i don't know but it is what it is <laughs> so i'm definitely putting this in here so throughout the airport i can definitely get hot water and for me to be able to have something in my system i know they will not allow me to go through tsa with hot water or water or liquid going through security checkpoints. So this will work on the airport where I could get some hot water. And I need to put these in my suitcase. And that guys should really be it. That should really be it. That should be everything that I need for this trip.